co-host Cynthia. I'm gonna let her get into it real quick and introduce everybody, and we're gonna go from there. Let's hey, go. Hey, Pippers, what's going on with y'all? Thank y'all so much for joining us live. We have been behind the scenes in private chat because we wanted to try to make this the best experience uh, for everyone. So thank you so much. This is our new Facebook page. Make sure to like it. So first and foremost, we had last week with us at Route Runner from Death Jam, CEO Lifestyle Marketing. And so we are doing a music review today. Yes, you have been seeing all the lovely flyers and everything going around. We do have the beautiful Duchess with us tonight on live. And we also have some other phenomenal artists who are independent artists um, who look up to other people like Aunt Duchess and some of the other people who are already where they're trying to get to. So this platform is specifically for North Carolina, specifically for trying to help build bridges. So without further ado, we're going to bring Aunt onto the stage and um, he's going to let us know exactly, um, you know, what's going on today. And, you know, tell us a little bit more about yourself if, for those who didn't really get a chance to listen to the broadcast on last week. Welcome back, welcome back. For sure. One, I appreciate y'all for having me back. You know what I mean? Right. You know? Uh, again, okay. man, I'm Williams, uh, CEO of Route Running Management, located out of Richmond, Virginia. Um, but also more notably, I'm Ant from Def Gen, a lifestyle marketing rep um, out here in the Mid-Atlantic. So from the DMV through the Carolinas, man, y'all probably see me uh, with some of your favorite artists, you know, whether it's with 2 Chains or jaded kids you know we started with trap beckham with the birthday chick record um shout out to homie rap city on the rock nation side you know she's a big sipper you know what i mean yes um, north carolina for sure. <laughs> cheers baby but, yeah I, what y'all are doing man i love the platform uh you know if i wasn't driving i'd definitely be sipping myself yeah <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. Uh, I would love to give you guys some great feedback. Uh, some of my day-to-day -day responsibilities is really servicing the records from the label, sending the songs to the DJs, taking the artists to the club. Uh, we handle all the HBO initiatives. So I handle all of the meet and greets on college campuses. So anything I can do to help you guys gain more attraction and give you some real feedback, I'm looking forward to it. So I thank y'all for having me again. And Duchess, shout out to you. You know what I mean? I, I've been following her music for a while. So I can't wait to hear what she got new. Uh, from what I heard, it sounds great. Let's After, go. Right. That's yeah, right. Let's go. Let's go. Well, speaking of Duchess, I had the pleasure of meeting Duchess for the first time uh, back in February, right before Seattle came away. And um, she was so sweet. Like, I was on the side trying to take a little picture, and she actually saw me and stopped and told I was like, ah! There she goes. So, um, you know, law of attraction is real positive vibes only. So, Duchess, let's get you on live, darling, and let's uh, hear some music of you, from you and let you and Aunt talk a little bit. Where's Duchess at, y'all? Welcome, 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 hey, Duchess. Hey, everybody. Hey. Sippers. Sippers. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank it's you for having us. Thanks for taking the time out for us. Look, everybody good. Everybody in good spirits, good health. Everybody on, on, a, on a good vibe today. For sure. For sure. Yes, for sure. Definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, I had to apologize to your manager, to your team, because I was supposed to give something to her, but I got caught up listening to Love Me. So I was like, ooh, I missed my deadline. <laughs> but I was listening <laughs> such a song, Love Me, like running it back. And then my ADD kicked in. So that's it. Look, Love Me, Love Me is one of my, probably going to be one of my all-time favorites because I feel like every woman, we need to feel like that. Like, you need to have so much confidence in yourself that it make another man look at you, even if he got a woman. And if, right. you're, if you doing your job, he ain't even going to be looking at another woman. So it's really supposed to be a confidence builder to just help women understand, like, if you get on your job, you don't got to worry about hating on the next queen. Because I can't help that he loves me. Everybody loves me. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to hear that joy. I want to get into that, man. Let's Yo, I want to that. play that so bad, but she sent us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got okay, my phone. Look. 
the joy that I sent you, I haven't even released. And I really, I really only sent it because, like, where I am right now, like, all of my music is completely different than most of the females that are out right now because I don't really got no twerk music. I don't really talk about niggas. Like, I'm all about building self, self-love, empowerment, understanding how to be a better you. Sometimes that comes in a tough conversation. But, um... The, the song that I sent you, it's like for right now. Because, like, we really got to be more aware of the messages that we put out, especially with our art and our creativity. I know for me being a tattoo artist, there are several clients that I have declined all because I didn't want to do the type of art that they wanted me to do. It mm. might have been a demonic tattoo mm. or some disrespectful. I've never done a money over bitches tattoo. I've never done that. I don't. I refuse to do that. So mm. it's just certain things. If I'm going to have that level of control in my tattoo artistry and my visual art, I want to make sure that I translate the same message in my um, music. So that's, that's kind of what it is. That's, that's, a fly message, that's, that's some fly <laughs> stuff right there. Other people have been like, fuck that, I'm going to get this bread. Put that on her. I don't care. <laughs> Word. Well, uh, that, I mean, a lot of people don't even understand the conscious, the conscious responsibility of being an artist. They right. feel like just being an artist is the top. But if we look at the, the, the history of black artists, like go all the way back to like the Harlem Renaissance, even black artists that were dealing with LGBTQ issues or whatever the case may be, they were very creative and delicate with how they presented that that to the world. And I think that we need to get back to that level of responsibility so that we can actually have the real content that really can change the world, that can really add some value to our, our beings on this planet. Like a lot of people look at us as just, niggas sometimes they don't understand it. it's so much more to us so why don't we give them that side so that they can really inspect us instead of giving them what they expect of us oh shucks now i like all that all right, all right. <laughs> preach i'm about to pass you the offering basket <laughs> <laughs> well i'm gonna go so, ahead and let and listen to this music we've been listening behind the scenes but i definitely so so it, I know you haven't released it. So can we play it online, or do I need to play fine now? You absolutely no. You absolutely okay. can play it online. And, and one thing that I really, really just love and appreciate about you is the HBCU initiative, because I'm the product of the HBCU. I'm a cum laude graduate from North Carolina A and T, and I speak yeah, as yeah. Senator Adam on on the the North Carolina HBCU initiative every year. So I am very, very, very serious about education and about adding value to that because I don't have to have a college degree to be a tattoo artist, but a college degree having tattoo artists. So, you know, I just, I just feel like if we, encourage, if we encourage people more to want to do that type of shit, they can still do what they want to do. But having that level of educational background, it just adds so much more value to you because I wouldn't be Duchess of Ink from Black Ink if it had not been for North Carolina a and mm. That's dope. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> That's dope. So yeah. Kids hear that, go to college. Get that degree. Get your education. That's right. That's important. Look, I tell people, even if you want to be a trash man, get a college degree because then you're going to be the trash man running the whole, like, don't just go for a job. Go for the career. Go for the thing that's going to make sure that you got longevity, that your family going to actually be able to benefit from it because a lot of things that we don't think of like the 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 pwis and the white families they teach their kids how to create resumes we teach our kids how to fill out job applications and we got to switch that shit up so that we can really see our true potential big Absolutely facts right. big <laughs> facts big facts well i'm gonna go ahead and play some of this song the intro now this is the intro of your new album that hasn't been released released and it's finished, and I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. That's dope. I'm excited for you, sis. So we're going to go ahead and rock with you for a minute and let you and Ann spend a little time talking about things, all right? You know what? Well, well one, I, I appreciate you jumping on. I've definitely been a, a fan of yours for a while. You know, definitely circulating around the Carolinas. 
I just said you, you, you grind for a couple of years and you get your weight up. You know, uh, I see you out of South by Southwest, you know what I mean? 20, 30 shows, in two, three days, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I see you have a passion for your music. I can really appreciate that you have it. Um, so one thing about I tell artists a lot of times, you know, it's not about the music, it's about what the brand represents, you know, so uh, you're doing a great job in terms of building that brand. So uh, tell me, I, I know you spoke about, you know, in terms of what your music means to you, um, but what keeps you motivated in an industry that's so competitive? I know it's not an easy, a easy grind, you know, in terms of getting to where you, you know, where you need to be at, but what keeps you motivated? Yeah. Um, honestly, I tell people, whatever you're doing, if you're doing it for the money, don't do it because you're going to hate it. I don't make money off of music yet, but I love it so much that I don't care. Like, I I prayed when I was at a and I prayed that God would have me. We, we can't hear you. Can't hear you. Can y'all hear me? Okay, you back. My bad. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you're good. But I, I literally prayed that I prayed that God would allow me to be able to live a lifestyle and my life based off of my creativity. And I've been able to do extremely well with tattooing and she drives. Hopefully she let's get into oh, that. Somebody song. keep on the call phone. No, oh, that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into that song. All yeah. right. Before we lose so can, can you hear us? Oh, there she goes. Is she back? She back. All right. Let me go ahead and play that song. Duchess, don't go nowhere. If you come back, we're going to listen to the song until you come back in, Meg. Are the other guys on live too with us? You snake niggas, brother, hate niggas, then it not just see great leaders, make great leaders, not followers. Little thumbs down on your own time, get your thumbs up. They should be proud of us. So no, I shouldn't acknowledge not one of you bitches, cause all of you doubted us, nobody shot at us, nobody gave us a platform. Niggas was proud of us, they looking down on us. We don't want they turn their back on. These bitches need slapped on, these niggas need clapped on. I should have go down. These niggas are drowning. We ain't going down to rap for them. The truth could get ugly. Consider you lucky. The shit hit the floor and come get a few from me. Fish tennis for sure. If you niggas is hungry. I've been on a roll. You niggas is funny as hell. Your money is funny as well. I heard you little niggas is frail. I heard you little bitches got curvy as well. Work on the scale. I'm a conservative as hell. Take one for the home team. We the only queens really running shit. Got a handgun with a hundred clip. Got a hundred kings that are funny shit. Nigga got a problem, better come equipped. Nigga pulling guns, we make fun of it. Nigga love Duchess came back yet or not. Take one for the home team. We the only queens to be fucking with. We the only queens really running shit. Got a handgun with a hundred clip. Got a hundred kings that are funny shit. Nigga got a problem, better come equipped. Nigga pulling guns, we make fun of it. Nigga life on bitch. I'm the queen of it. <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. North Carolina. That was North Carolina. That was that was pretty damn dope, though. It was. Oh, she said she's back. I see her. She, yeah, Dutch is going, going crazy. Come on y'all. back to it, Dutch. <laughs> oh, we finished bouncing now. We finished. <laughs> we finished bouncing, yo. So what y'all think? Well, well, first off, who who produced it? So my producer is my guy out here in um, Carolina. Like I try to do everything around people that I'm around. Cause if I'm gonna win, I want to win with people that I know deserve mm-hmm. to win. So mm-hmm. I kind of like this rock with everybody that's around the way. If I done tattooed them before, or I done been in the studio and met them, like those are the people that I keep my connections with and that I really allow myself to grow with because 
if we all win at home, we're going to have some crazy going on in the Carolina. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, well, first of all, let me, let me commend you. you. You're going crazy on the record. You know, I, I can tell you uh, I like it a lot. You know what I mean? I was pretty surprised. I mean, you, you're talking a lot of shit. You know, you come in super, <laughs> super aggressive, you know, and I, and I can appreciate that. Um, and I stated earlier, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to do uh, Rhapsody's Layla's Wood campaign, you know, taking her to different spots or whatever. Um, and your, your your music is nearly similar in terms of it has a certain type of presence where you're not just rapping, you're really saying um, but you got a flow and you got a certain presence on the track, but you're making me pay attention. Um, I love it. You know, I love I love your posture on the record. Um, I love the wordplay, but I, I, I love the message. I love what you're talking about. I think the first thing comes to me, you know, and uh, I would love to see it go further. I can't wait to see a visual, you know, um, and, and I want to hear more. You know, good shit. All right. Let's go, let's go. Definitely. I think you got something, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. It's a whole lot to me. Uh, now your shit, your shit, your shit is rocking though. I, I definitely, I feel like your grind and your commitment creatively, um, it's all about creating a conversation. I think if, if you were able to articulate this conversation that we have and more publicly i think people will start respecting who they may perceive you to be and a lot of what you're doing is creating that new reality and i tell artists it's not about being consistent it's about growing so from what i know from you your music is growing every time you know from when i first heard you doing music i wasn't sure uh i thought that you were talented but then i think it was one time at south by I really sat, sat around and I seen you perform and I was like, oh, I, I thank you for a hope and shit. And I really became a fan. I seen you continue to grow. And, and every little spot we were at, whatever artist I was with with Def Jam, that the Dutch is right there and your music is rocking. So with this record, I feel like it has a lot of maturity. I feel like it's somewhere where you can really live that for the next two, three years in this, in this pocket. Um, I definitely want to help you champion, you know, that sound. Obviously, I'm, I'm big in the Carolina, so I feel like, you know, with J. Cole and the baby's prowess, you know what I mean? You, it's some talent gotta, here, that's right. It's second it. career. <laughs> yeah. you know, got a second career. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm actually grateful to hear that because I'm really at a place where I'm really taking it serious. Like, in the first times of me, me, you and you seeing me out, I was in it, but I wasn't in it. I, I was doing it because... I don't know why I was doing it. I was just doing it. And now I'm doing it because, like, and I'm being honest, like, now I'm doing it because I live it. Like, what I what I say on Instagram, what I live in my day-to-day -day life, what I do if you see me out in public, if you ever approach me or ever around me, I am the same person on every facet. I can vouch. So I really wanted to make sure that my music maintains that integrity, too, because... When I first started doing it, I was starting to get advice from people saying, well, you should be more like this and you should be more like that. And it kind of just put me in a turtle shell because I'm like, I just want to be like me. Right. And I don't know if that's good or not, but that's what I want to do. That's the best way to Who be. Else can you be like you? I mean, it's, you go crazy trying to be like somebody else, you know? I'm telling you. So since I've had the time to just focus on doing that and allowing my voice to just transcend on the same level on everything that I do, it's made it so much more an enjoyable process. It's really allowed me to really like enjoy writing, enjoy being creative, being inspired by little things I see or conversations I might have with people. And that's something that I was missing at that time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it definitely takes time. And I think uh, just listening to you now, you know, you've got a lot of maturity. Um, the music is there. It's never about the music. I tell artists all the time, if you can't create a conversation behind who you are and it's not a name for the music, the music is so short-lived. So your song is not going to this too long in the marketplace. you got to give them content. That content is the yes. You know? But people got to know that you've been doing your revolutionary shit. You know? Big facts. That's right. <laughs> Big facts. Big I can facts. appreciate 
appreciate that though. It's great. It's great to see that that you've grown. Uh, again, that anything I can do as a company, you know, we here to support you. I'm not just saying that, but I, w I was telling uh, Cynthia Vim earlier. I think this is a great opportunity uh, for us collectively just to generate a new platform. Um, what I'm doing on the label side, you know, you you've been around obviously artists that I've routed and taken to the Carolinas. Carolina is a real hot hot bed. You know, the majority of the Def Jam artists that we that we've signed and we're doing pro tours for, we taking them to the Carolinas and we're breaking their records, and they're coming back two three months later and they're getting show money. So yeah. you got a serious marketplace that support independent artistry. So no matter what form is coming in, J. Cole took it to another level. Uh, Tusi's doing well. Uh, Stun Up, The Baby, of course. Wu Two Tom, Sunshine Anderson. I can I can name fifty artists right now. Right. Look, right. almost every artist you named or around me consistently, or I've been around them consistently, seen, or I, like it be. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a crazy studio story right quick. So a couple months ago, it was probably like four or five months before Corona. I'm in the studio at Audio Box and I'm recording, and out of nowhere, Fantasia's brother Rico Barino comes in. That's my homeboy. Oh, then me. DJ Luke Nasty comes in, my who's my who used to be my next door neighbor. Wow. <laughs> then Anthony Hamilton comes in and we literally stop my whole session and record Dang. a song all four of us together wow. That's wild. Wow. just off off the straight up that's just your session we about to record something I'm like uh, I, uh, wow. <laughs> you deserve it boo. you do so when I tell y'all I have a hidden gem in my pocket of some amazing stuff I got two joints that I did with the baby before he was even when he was baby Jesus like Right. It's just crazy <laughs> how I've been allowed to grow with a lot of these artists. Like Sunshine, me and Sunshine are radio sisters. We both work for Radio One Charlotte. So we're around each other consistently. So it's just a beautiful thing for me to be able to be in such a great space around creatives that I respect and that are from the same place I'm from and right. that have actually really attained a level of su success just being creative because that's really what I aim to do. Like that's what I hope to do. Now, Duchess, let me say this, and I want your feedback as well as Ant. Now, a lot of artists on the level that I'm working on, you know, they see someone else's move, but they really kind of hear about what it takes. But as far as knowing what it really takes, when someone like me come around or, you know, different producers and people try to help, um, you know, it's kind of like you're trying to lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it kind of thing. So without me saying it, since y'all have, you know, you're around these people constantly, what thing would you let the artists know of from your experience to now? What is it that you say they would need the most consistently of besides money? And maybe you I mean, can talk so about I'll that be too. Honest, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still at that level and I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. Yes, I'm Duchess of Ink. Yes, a lot of people everywhere on every continent that I've ever touched, they know who I am. They love me. They give me love, shower me with love, all of those great things. But they don't know me as Duchess the Artist. Right. So right. right now, I'm in the process of rebuilding a whole new section of my career that never has existed in the minds of people who know who Duchess is. So I do. This, I might show up to a club. They ain't paid no booking fee. I showed up because I wanted to show up. Mm -hmm. And when I showed up, I made sure that my presence was felt. Even if they didn't cut a check. Because now they're going to cut a check the next time. Like, a lot of the people get so caught up on the money side of things that they miss out on the opportunities and the blessings that could be attached to that stuff. Oh, true. So, I really say, never say no to anything. Because you never know what that yes is going to do for you it might not be a bag attached to it but the opportunity that could be attached to it or the relationships that could be attached to it could be far for sure you're breaking up man you're breaking up that i'm afforded to be able to perform if i'm able to perform if I'm able to yeah she's breaking up real bad 
Damn. Yeah, we're losing you, Mom. Can y'all hear me now? Hey, you know, okay. okay. <laughs> That's better. So, I, but like I was saying, I take advantage of every opportunity. I don't care if it's just for me to speak, for me to perform, whatever it is, I'm doing it. And I don't care if a bag is attached to it. And sometimes you got to just move like that. You got to just take advantage of that moment because that moment could change your life. Sure. No, absolutely. You're going to make it. Just from that right there, you're going to make it. I'm telling you, yo, you got the, the drive that you got to have to be in that industry. Yeah. That's the drive you got to have. You got to go get it. You got to want it. And like you said, you got to take on opportunities that always end attached to a bag. And that's absolutely. a mentality. And I tell people that, too. You, know. you cannot follow your dream and not have a hustle. Tattooing is my hustle. Now I'm following this dream with this music stuff. But I still got to work my hustle in order for me to survive. Because a lot of these artists feel like, oh, well, if I get somebody with a bag to support me, then I can just be an artist. No, you got to be a woman and a man first. And then an artist. That's so exactly what I was looking have for. have that hustle in you to go get it for whatever it's worth on that side so mm -hmm. that you can really see the benefit on this side. And it's, it's so hard. But if you want it as bad as you say you do, it's not going to be hard. That's not gonna be work. That's gonna be fun. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Well, we ain't gonna keep you all night, and we love we love that you came through and stopped by and gave us your time. Look, y'all are always welcome. Anything y'all need me for, I am at y'all beck and call. Just let me know if y'all ever in Charlotte. Come see us at Pretty Inning, even if you don't come, but come have a shot with me. Come, come get a t-shirt, whatever. Say you no come more. through. You don't gotta get a tattoo. You don't gotta go through the pain. Uh, just come through and let, let us give you some of that pretty and ink love. Well, look, Thanks I don't have any tattoos, so I'm just letting you know now you are gonna be my first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm so I'm so stoked. You know, um, I'm up in Charlotte all the time. I work with the independent label. Um, so I'm back and forth to Charlotte all the time. So please know I do plan on um, making sure that you stay physically uh, social distance wise uh, connected to the do say <laughs> La Familia um, team. Them and I, you know, as soon as uh, I heard back in my DM, I, I texted him. I was like, I got to tell somebody. And so I texted him and I called him and he was like, okay, like, you know, but um, such as I do, you know, somebody just has a spark, you know, and watching someone on TV after the edits and, you know, this shot and that shot is put together and then actually feeling somebody's energy and vibing with them, like it's a whole different experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still got that sweetness a little bit off of VH1, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was praying a few times. Yeah. For they, for them, you know. That okay. You. <laughs> but you know what? I, I tell people all the time, that was my gift and my curse. I needed that experience just as much as it hurt me, it, it helped me. And it helped so many women that I will never even get to tell them thank you for allowing me to help them. Because when I tell you, it's so many women that come up to me and they just pour into me. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to leave. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to walk away. And I'm like, dang. That's, yeah. just, like, that's, so, that's, that's that's powerful for me. Like, the word is bold. It's bold. That's the word. You are very bold. And that's something that as a black woman, you know, especially in entertainment and life and business, you know, you as a woman from years ago, we were always taught to be quiet and just keep everything together. So for, you know, as a black woman, we're kind of always given the you know, a uh, statistic of y'all always mouth and y'all say too much. Y'all so aggressive. <laughs> See? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I saw your growth over the season. And to see you from going from point A to point B and growing, not just like, you know, I saw somebody say some people was raised, I think T.I. say some people was raised and some people just grew up. You know, like I saw you go through so much metamorphosis. And to see this Duchess today and then to hear you as an artist and then you're on the radio station, like Ann said, you know, like Bim said, child, you're going far. Don't even worry about it. And then you got all up behind you. So, you know, you're all right. For sure. That's right. Great. We're going to push you. 
Well, thank you so much, Duchess. And was there anything else that you wanted to say to her before we let her go? Tell your managers, hit me up. I want to I want to get behind, you know what I mean? This Duchess Dutch fire, you know? Say so no more. Uh, yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till you hear the rest. Can't wait till you hear the rest. Not for sure. Absolutely. Well, thanks thank so you. much, Duchess. Y'all Have be a- blessed. Y'all be blessed. Stay covered physically and spiritually. All right, guys. So y'all saw her for herself, Big Dutch. What was that you gonna say, Ben? Oh no, gay, gay. Okay. All right. So and now we're gonna bring on uh NOA. You here with Fly Six? Can we get NOA with Fly Six? So while we're getting in a way, if he's not ready, then I, there we go. Hey, somebody's coming. Peace, somebody's peace. Coming. What's going on? Hi. How What's you up? doing? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Thank you for having he's me, still man. still loading on my side. Y'all see him yet? Y'all, I thanks for sitting with us. We, um, let's see. Can y'all see him? Yeah, I see some. I see somebody. Yeah, he peace, did. Peace. I see him in the corner right there. Okay, perfect. Hey, you see him? I see him. What's up, homie? What's going on, baby? Thank you for having I me. I can't man. hear him. Is your mic connected? I can hear you, bro. You can hear me. Oh, you All can. Right. You can hear him, man. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I can't hear him. My can bad. You hear him, Cynthia? I cannot. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Everyone can see and hear you. That's what. This... Now we hear you. Peace, brother. Peace. What's going on, Cynthia? Thank you for having me. I don't think Cynthia can hear me though. And Ann is gone now. Is Ann there too? No, no I'm Ann. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with mine, but so go ahead. Um. Then I can't hear fly six, but if you'll go ahead, uh NOA, is it NOA up here or is it fly Noah. six? Noah. And Noah, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. And what do you say? And Noah. I'm the manager for fly six. And I can't fly. hear him. All right, so let's go to Eve. Um let me see here. One second, Sam. I think him and Ant talking. No, yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear yo, you. Yo, hear yo. Peace, 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 baby, peace, peace. Yo, can you hear me? What's going on? Uh oh, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Ease. All right, what's going on? I don't man? know what's, what's up with. We good. Yeah, we good. How you doing? I need to get off. Cause I don't know. Let me. Re- we gotta put Ant back on. So right, Ant. Yo. Okay. Yo, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Cynthia, can you hear him? I don't. In the way. Now, Cynthia. Ease. Yo. I right, I can hear you. I can hear Ant. But I can't hear yeah. in the way. I can't hear him. Cause, for some reason. He said his name is Anor. Anor? Anor. Okay, Anor. Anor, you, you can hear him, please? Yeah, I can hear him. I don't know what's going on on my mic. And you can hear him too as well, right? Well, now he's lagging. I can't hear him. It's something going on when you, when you text somebody, you know, somebody goes out. Yeah, because I don't even see Cynthia no more. Nah. I think it's too many people on. I think it's only probably four in this. The max, yeah. Okay, I see that. Okay, I see it. Now, is this fly six or is it in a way? It's a Noah. Noah. A Noah. I think your sound is plugged into your earphones. I can't hear you into your out, like your output. Can anyone else hear him? I can't hear him. Yo, I can't hear can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 
Absolutely. Hey. Yo, peace of love, yo. This is a no right, I'm Fly Six eat. manager. Can Fly we... Six couldn't make it today, but you know, I appreciate y'all giving me this opportunity. Um, just a little backstory, real quick. Fly Six, um, he just started mm -hmm. recording May of last year, May 2019. Um, from from that point on to now, we recorded about 60 songs. You know what I'm saying? And today y'all gonna get to hear two of them, which is our first single, R and D um rich n-word drip and um that's been out now for for like a year or so and um the other song that i submitted to cynthia was every day as well we we hoping that could be like the next single or whatever we got a mixtape coming out soon god willing and um once again i appreciate y'all man peace to the do say family um peace to death jam Peace to Miss Cynthia for the opportunity and um, peace to Duchess. That was dope. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. And I was. Oh, there is Ant. I'm back. Peace, Ant. What's up, bro? Already. Yeah, man. I, 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 I did, you know what I mean? Like I said before, you know what I mean? My, my artist, Fly Six, um, you know, he, he's a young uh, a young talent. Um, you know, um, you know, he be rapping. He, you know, he sing. You know, he, he does R&B, he does rock and roll, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean, the main thing is hip hop, you know what I mean? Rap rap music, Um um and, um you know, my guy's a talent. You know, unfortunately, he couldn't be here with us today. You know what I mean? Um, Like I mentioned before, real quick, you know, he started recording um May of 2019. And um, from, from that moment on, you know, to now, we, we got about 60, 60 plus songs. We got a mixtape coming out soon. And the first single is R&D. You know what I mean? We sent y'all the clean version, um, the radio friendly version. You know what I mean? And um, um, I also sent um, Miss Cynthia um, Every Day, which is the next single. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Every Day going first. All right. That's the one I set up first. And so we're going to play just a hook and a verse of it. And then we're going to go to R&D. Okay. And while we're getting R&D, and you can give him your feedback and them. Um, and even Eve, if you got something to say about it, you know, this is what we're here for. For sure. Let's do it. All right. We're going to do verse and hook, right? Yep. I'm going to go get a little drink. Pull back. <laughs> Every day of the week, every day be in the street, hustle hard every day, gotta eat, getting money ain't be in the street, every day carry the heat, every day we're making it to the street, keep a bad form, that's the seat, so much money I can count on my sleep, high as fast, yeah, we got up for cheap, like a man on top of my creek, cross the game, we gon' put you to sleep, every day be in the street, be in the street, hustle hard every day, gotta eat, hustle hard every day, gotta eat, this down, straight crack that hard rock. Like ass oh, I pop fly on trash talk. Got big racks, no cash talk. Oh, I got some money gonna pull up on you and rob you with a mask on. Oh, I got some bad boy giving that good name. So oh, hell of man stuffed in my jeans. Got like Van and McQueen. I think it's a cash like a bean. I fall like a star on my team. I play with position, my diamonds they glisten every time when I'm on the scene. My pocket got bigger, I'm stacking my figures, hustling and making this cream. Yeah, one day I be balling like an all star. All right, all right, all right. So that was every day, guys. Every okay, day. Yes, okay, yes. Okay. So, so I go first. You do. Know. Yes, you and or them. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and you can take the stage first. Okay, cool, man. So one of the first things that I mean, I noticed the beat is cool. I like the beat. Um, so so for me, well, artists when artists are really creative and they can really rap and they can really bring their words a certain type of way, I try to listen to the wordplay. It's too many familiar words initially where it's, it's not, it's not anything that I haven't heard before. You know what I'm saying? So the conversation in itself, even though he, it sounds great, it sounds good, but it's not going to translate because it, it's so common. Every word that he uses is like from a, you know, from a trap, from a trap uh, dictionary right now. You know yes, saying? sir. Yes, right. sir. So for me, that's kind of like an instant. Like I just listen to like, oh, okay, 
the substance and competing factor is not there. If it was for if he was a younger artist, if he was like 13, 14, 15, rapping like that with that type of lingo, you know what I mean? He could get away with it. But him being older, it gotta be a little bit more substance and it can't be as predictable in terms of the conversation. But I think he I think he's an incredible artist. I want to hear more. Um but my job in terms of like servicing records to radio and really breaking records, a lot of records aren't meant for radio, but you need to have a record that can compete in a marketplace. So if it's a street record, it gotta be super street. You know what I'm saying? If it's a dope boy record, I need to hear all the dope lingo and it I he I'm hearing I'm hearing words, you know, and, and phrases and stuff, but it's it's nothing that's really thick and it's more than anything, it's overly familiar. But uh for me, I think it sounds good, but it's probably a no in terms of like that's a record you wanna go with per se but if you create a dope visual for it it'll probably help create a bigger conversation for who he is and a lot of times it's like a saying one record i'll get you two so if you, you can if you put out that record you maximize it you put out a dope visual and put out a second record that's even better in terms of more creative or more substance you know that, that's sonically better than it then you'll get a lot more traction but you know the artist has to be bigger than the record and that record uh isn't necessarily you know, gonna push the artist. So that's great advice, brother. Gotcha. That's great advice. Gotcha. And gotcha. um, there is there is going to be a yeah, visual feel, for it. You know what I'm saying? The same um, way, kind of, because that, like, that video you know, is gonna is, it is gonna be out soon, like, and team, it's definitely dream, gonna be dream, street. Thing. You know that what I mean? You know, um, music. And but that's that's yeah, definitely great advice, man. Some, Thank you. Just change your style up. Sometimes you know you can change your style up and do things a little di different. Man. I heard y'all. Oh. I heard y'all can hear me. I don't know if y'all heard me or not. I, I can hear you. Sure, and. Thank you, you know, as well. But can you hear Ben? Ben is giving you feedback as well. Can he hear me? I can me? only hear you. I, I don't know if everybody else is chiming in. I'm not sure. No. He can't hear you, Ben, for some reason. I, I can't hear hey, you. Hey, look, I can hear Miss Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't All hear right. Ben. But if, he, if, if he's saying he anything or he's, he's the rapper, I, I'm, yeah. I can't I hear just, him. And I can't I, hear I'm him. not hearing anything from me. Can somebody, can somebody inform him to tap on... It's it's like a feature. If you tap on the on on like okay, I can hear you now, you brother. I right. you can hear him, right, cool. I, 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 sir. I, yes, sir. Can hear you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear ease. I can't hear him though. All right. So the issue is, if you tap on the little people, if you tap on the people that you can't hear, it's an option that pop up and says I can't hear them. You click on that and it says try to fix issue. You click on that, then you should be able to hear it. Okay, I just did it. See, that's why we need these young boys around us. Help us. There it, it is. There we go. There it is. There it is. There we go. Like, I was saying, I was saying, from, from Route Runner, I, I, um, you know, that, that advice, that, that's real advice right there. You know what I mean? And, um, you know what I mean? Um, the, the, the visual for that for every day is coming out soon. And that, 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 that should probably, that should probably help it. But it's definitely a street record. I don't see it, um, you know, it being um, on a level of, of 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 commercial or pop or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, when when you hear R and D, that that's gonna be more more of the of the radio commercial pop record. That that okay. You may, well, let's you go ahead listen. and get that on then. And also, you know, just to let you know, you and I connected some time ago. And so one of the things that I do is, you know, like Ant on his level of running routes, I kind of prep artists and consult with them to get them ready for that level, you know, usually with his consultation. So yeah. at the same time, you know, just because you've sown and poured and supported Duce La Familia and my brand, you know, just always know this feedback is constructive to make you better because we wouldn't even have you here if we oh, didn't yeah. see you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to play oh, yeah. R&D and get this going so we can get everybody else on and out of here. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh,
Yeah, yeah. Do what they know I'm the shit. Run up through so nobody can see. In the best seat where nobody can see. Y'all niggas be on that bitch nigga shit. Uh -oh, so I tell y'all some bitch nigga dick. I mean, I'm out for this bitch nigga trip. Well, most times I'm a duck nigga up like that. <laughs> So is that an intro in or that's that's like the promo that's like the promo version. I emailed you the clean radio version. I don't know how you how you received that, but I sent you the clean radio version. I got the YouTube link. You sent me a YouTube mm -hmm. link and the R and D was the I guess the flyer that said parental controls in red and underneath that was the YouTube link. But that's cool. We still got a really good um so that's a snippet of the song. That was like that's what a, a minute. Snippet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's th there's, there's there's three verses on there, three hooks, you know what I mean? Um well, tell us where can we go to listen to his music more? Like I said, now that you're here, you're here. You know, um, we're definitely going to help. We definitely want you, you know, help bring your vision to, to pass. So tell us where can we, everybody that's with us, where can we go and listen to it for ourselves and download it and support? All platforms. Um, fly, fly six. Um, now spell that because y'all spell it kind of tricky. <laughs> yeah. it's, on, it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple. Um, but spell fly, what is it? F L Y Y title as F L Y Y six, correct? All right, F L Y Y six, okay. Yes, yes, it's on every, it's on title, it's everywhere, you know what I mean? And, um, um, yeah, that that's the first single, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it, it's been getting a lot of feedback, it's cr it's been crazy at the strip clubs in Atlanta. We've been performing a lot there, um, for the most part. And um, you know, it's, it's, it's just it's just about a year old. We recorded it about a year ago, you know what I mean? And but from there, the kid fly, he, he you know what I mean, it's like we got we got a lot of we got a lot of music, y'all, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's different content, different topics, you know what I'm saying, different different flows, different beats, you know. like I said, you know what I mean? The Mac is a talent, man. And um I would yeah, like yeah. to maybe I would like to maybe email, you know, maybe you could forward um a lot of emails, you know what I'm saying? You're so reading my mind. Yeah. So they can actually so they can actually hear the impact of the music, you know what I mean? Absolutely. At a, at a and try to make sure to send me that one again because for whatever reason I'm unsure, you know, of what happened. But I'm, definitely I'm send, send me that and then I'll make sure that drugs. Ant gets it, Def um that uh Bim gets it. Um and then you know, Please. like anything else that's going on, shows, opportunities, because we linked you LinkedIn. So you definitely, yeah. you know, one of my faves. Yeah, we definitely, gonna definitely have you on the show. If you know, I do say, um, events we have, we, we have new artists come on and perform. We look and forward thing, to it, so man. It's a we look forward to it, man. Now, Cynthia's my girl, and you know, uh, you know, like I said, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for having me, and um, you know, what I mean, I, I we I look forward to networking with y'all in the future for sure. For sure, thank you, Anoa. One love, baby. All right, thank All right. you for coming. Thank brother. you for the platform. Peace. Stay safe, Absolutely. man. All right, so Bim, uh, we have another person. We might as well go ahead. We have a, uh, who is that? I want to go ahead. I got Ease up here. After Ease, we're going to bring on MSCJ. He actually has a song with uh, someone that was on Rockefeller before. So Ease, we're going to bring you on. Then we're going to bring on MSCJ. And then we have... A special treat my homeboy wonder after that and then i think we're pretty much done after that so ease uh bim go ahead and you talk about ease that's 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 your homie you brought him to the sip and chill family you do say mafia, mafia family okay okay they know if they watch episode two or three when he was on one of them they know that that's the homie from Durham, little bro he about his business he do it all he rap he do little um cartoons he do commercials he comedian everything he do it all that's my man he's the rapper from Durham. he here with What's us tonight. On, man. let's go baby on. Let's... so he's good good what you been up to nothing man i just uh been promoting that that the single that uh about to have the world here man i've been spending my time making sure that's on the airways i got it on the radio now uh you can peep it throughout the week 
on the five o'clock traffic jam k97.5 you can catch it on there uh so yeah i'm, I'm trying to push this as far as i can go okay let's do it all right so i'm setting it up y'all give me a second i'm not a dj but i'm doing my best over here <laughs> you're making it happen you're making it happen let's go well, yeah. <laughs> all right so ease so ease while we got you in alignment i ask uh most artists i work with man what's more important man you or your music you said me or my music yep um I mean, me most definitely, uh, but I mean, it's it's a trick question because uh, I tell I tell a lot of my stories in my music, uh, so you know it does start for me, uh, and uh, I definitely think that uh, that's more important. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to hearing it and giving you some feedback, bro. And it's downloading now, just to let you know. But yeah, this song right here, man, let me tell y'all about it. So the beat for this song, uh, it was given to me by a random guy uh, from Florida. He said, yo, I've been watching you for a while. I just want to hear you on my song. I just want to hear you on my, my, my beats, my creations. So I said, all right, bet. So literally without like, a, I would say about three, four days later, I sent it back to him like, hey, this is what I got. So he was hyped like, yo. Yo, that's what's up, man. This is this is look. He started sending me more beats, uh, but yo, uh, I just started promoting that song, and and the song is pretty much about. Uh, it, it says it when the song starts, man. Two years ago, I popped his hand. And, right, right. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, it's a, that's a true story, man. I I, I popped the I popped the Xanax one time in my life, first and last time. But we about to play this song and find out what happened. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we need this record right now, bro. I'm mean, you. Two years ago, I popped his hand down. I won't do that thing again. Woke up to my sleep on the wheel. Oh, Lord, we was riding in the media. My kids white like stay lit like I'm the drink propane. Hey, my was strong as protein. I'm gonna put it to the people in your double man. Hey, I'm so fed up and not being fed up. But it's going through it, keep your head up. I know how I feel when you trying to keep it better. Hey, trying to make the situation better. Hey, you do not want to be there because all of my we come in together. And I had a DM me that he wanted to smoke it in. I reply back, it's whatever. Now watch it because all of my got some presses. You really thought you was clever. Now I got to take up the mess. Treat it like Chick fil A, it is my blessing. Yeah, I knock him down whatsoever. Huh? I check my clothes like the weather. Yeah, promise you that on my level. So watch what you step in. You got to be careful, my. My chopper got a good feeder, yeah. I don't flip out, I'm a cheater, yeah. Flex the front, I don't do neither, huh? Got all my strikes like a zebra, yeah. I got all this ice, like he's simple, hey. Watch this if I got a temper, hey. I choke in the back of his tender, yeah. Damn, let me remember. Two years ago, I popped the sand, damn. I won't do that again. Welcome. All right. <laughs> all right, what you think? What you got to say about that? All right. Um. I, th I think you're a dope artist you know what i mean i could tell i could tell you you're from the carolinas in terms of just you know you have a certain type of lyrical posture you know what i mean and, and you have a uh, a lot of substance in your music um i think sometimes just being a younger younger brothers who have more not self and who's trying to find that blend between like being attractive to the hood and having a certain feel and then also putting substance in there Sometimes you, you get lost in gray. So that record is kind of like, I get it, you know what I mean? But I like the lyrics more. It makes me have an interest of what you're about. So so again, it's like, all right, I would have to see that before I listen to that, you know what I mean? Because if I listen to it, I think it's cool. But I just think in terms of your your stanza and your format, even the hook, it's a very comprehensive hook. It's a very... Uh, you know, it's it's a used format. You know, that's, that's common. So, I like I like the things that you're saying. That's kind of like that's that's giving you a little bit more life. I mean, the fact that you you know you can rap and you're talking about stuff. But for me, artists that fit in your space, and when I say fit in your space, you know, you you got artists like a Denzel Curry. You have like the Chance the Rappers. You have artists that may like fit and just 
you know, abstract pockets, you know what I'm saying? They create more conversations about what they represent. So in terms of like, if you're a family man or if you have the story of, you know, you, you turned your life over to Christ or, you know, or you just got smart and wise enough, it gotta be like a Freddie Gibbs. Like, you remind me, like you can fit in the same word as a Freddie Gibbs. And artists in that space aren't really, a, the body, it's a body of music that is gonna be more of a, a collective conversation behind what I think about your 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 music. The record in itself, I probably wanna hear more songs from you. I think that you're talented. I just don't know if that's the record, you know what I'm saying, or not. I think it's cool, and I think it has it's, it, it has cool texture to it, and I think it can work in certain pockets, but that record may not have a lot of longevity. Even if it's getting served through Mix Show, um, you still got to have consumers that understand what you're about in order for it to stay. So a lot of times, once the record finishes rotation, they're going to do research to say, is it working or not working? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then there's going to be other platforms that exist like Shazam and other things where they're going to see are people who saying, Siri, what is this song? You know what I mean? And also, are you are you making it a conversation? Is the bigger thing. So a lot of times, well, artists got to put the music directly on a media platforms versus going directly to the consumers. You should make that you should make that record big to the consumers and then I can respect it more. But in my opinion, just creating more content for that song is probably more important than just giving it to DJs. You know what I mean? Because you know it'll probably go over niggas' heads, you know, initially. So my advice is just to if if you feel good about it, sit on the record and try to create more content around it outside of do you have do you have a video out for it already? No, nah, that's my uh, my next step. We're working on that now. So before you shoot a video, just create dope content. That's pieces of the song. It could be fun stuff. It could be satires. It could be fight compilation. You know things. It could be uh, protest. You know snippets or whatever. But create more content around that record so you can develop more of a conversation behind it and find people in the marketplace that understand what you understand. In terms of like your intellect and what perspective you're coming from, and build up your fan base so you can have a bigger support system and rolling it out. Because sometimes when you put out music, if you don't have a big enough fan base for people to receive it, it's gonna, it's not gonna really get the results that you want. And music, music, you have to be paid and and you know eight months a year in order for a lot of times your your brand to catch to that record. So if you are more important to the song, you more popular in order for that song to work Makes absolutely sense. absolutely and he's naturally funny so you know let let the lord lose use your ease yeah i know you can come <laughs> up with some dope visuals for the song oh, yeah i got some ideas good. already man good That's good fun. good good well ease thank you so much for joining us again here on the do say la familia sip and chill and yeah. so like and said continue to push keep putting yourself out there them for sure is a fan yeah. he's made me a fan by now so you definitely do say mafia family and we will be having you uh just, like i said linking up with anything we have going on so for sure you know the okay. platform is yours little bro i appreciate it again thank you for having me uh, it was good to meet you, Rob Runner, man, for the first time. Likewise. Uh, and I definitely appreciate that knowledge, man. I'm going to definitely uh, take take heed and, um, you know, take action on, on that. Are you following him, Ease? Uh, I think I just followed him today prior to this call. So i make sure so. I when I see you, bro. Okay, okay. That's a bet. And, uh, and uh, let's let's continue to build, man. You're part of the, the fam, so, you know, I'll definitely be seeing you soon. Most definitely, man. Likewise. All right, Ease. Thank you. Right. No problem. Thanks for appreciate coming, it. I appreciate it, Ben, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. All, All right. right. Bringing next to the stage, we have MSCJ. MSCJ. Now, I got a hold of MSCJ um, by way of High Rise, who is a producer for Ray LeJune, who just signed with Rock Nation um, mm -hmm. in her own way. Nice. She's out there pushing herself. I love Ray LeJune. Um, and so High Rise works with various artists. He's in South Carolina, um, North Carolina. He's all over the place. And so as a result, um, we linked up with MSCJ. And so we're waiting for so, him so, to come on. Everybody can see him or is it just me? I see him. him. I see him. Dr. M. What's up, bro? Good to have you, bro. What's happening? What's Thanks happening? For coming. Appreciate y'all for having me. What's up with it? What's up? What's up, man? How y'all doing? Everybody can hear him. Dr. M. Yep. Hear you clear, bro. All right. 
Yeah, but yeah, appreciate so, y'all for and I cannot hear him, but for the sake of time, I'm going to let you the, read me and the, let um, me Click on his picture and do the um. Well, I don't stuff. even see his picture. I think something might be going on with my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to let y'all oh. keep running. So, and I'm going to, I have the song already downloaded, so um, I can't hear him, but Bim and Ann, if y'all can kind of let me know when to go ahead and play the music. All right, run it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Tell us a little about yourself, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, shit, I go by the name of MSCJ. I'm an um, artist from South Carolina, from a small island in South Carolina called St. Helena Island. I'm a Geechee boy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> just a few, <laughs> a few facts about me. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt, man. That's what's up. Who was the first record produced by, bro? Which, uh, what, what, what you about to play first? Well, tell me both. What who what were they produced by both of them? Who they produced well, by? Uh, yeah, my man just said he sent three records. I, I ain't sure which one she about to play, but uh, one of them is uh Take You There, produced by Mr. Hanky. I'm pretty sure y'all familiar with Mr. Hanky. Um oh. Future and Future and Rail for Rockefeller. And uh okay. the next record, I got a record that produced by my nephew, my 12-year-old nephew. Well, he was 12 at the time he made the beat, you know what I'm saying? So and then uh the third record is um Work my move produced by my uh my brother in law, produced by my nephew, his daddy. He produced the other beat. So now I mean we're keeping it in the family, you know what I mean? So that pretty much no goes in. No doubt. So we're gonna get into one of them songs and we're gonna, you know, let the let um Ralph run up, you know, review it and let you know what he think about it and see what and see what direction you need to go into or whatever. All right. But um, Cynthia, we ready for the song. Play okay, and songs. I can see him now, too. So, hi, MSE. Uh, <laughs> Good. I'm about to right. play you right now. Thank you for being right. on the show. Oh, yeah. Appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Take you anywhere you want, go. Teach you anything you want, no, no. Want it fast, so you want slow. Make that book of crap like I'm on, bro. Oh, oh, baby, girl, you make me want more. Put so good, I can't get enough. Red ball, the light LMA. Shining like a diamond in the rough. I ain't lying, girl, I'm trying to fuck. Take your time, I ain't trying to rush. Last nigga on the fence like a time out. Think it's time to let that nigga know it's time up. Yeah, you the one that I've been waiting on. You the one that bitch that ain't on. All the ladies sitting with the band slow. Baby, you know this your favorite song. That's different. Yeah, that's yeah, a, like a club song. That's a little club song for the chicks. That's different. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that definitely is different, and it's different from anything I done did. So, so it's definitely, yeah, uh, it's definitely different. <laughs> I definitely you stepped need, outside. You need the box one of those too, so. on your motherfucking demo. You need one of them. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, absolutely. So <clears throat> that's you on the hook. No, that's on rail. That's on rail from Rockefeller. Oh, okay, okay, I'm bugging. Okay, okay, oh, that, that sounds yeah. familiar. Um, so, so one, uh, I like the record. I think it's cool. Um, every, every record is like, my analogy is like Walmart, right? Every, every mm -hmm. record is like a product. It's somewhere in the store for it. Um, so it's really important to understand a sense of purpose of what you're, what you're trying to market and why and what, you know, so to have success in the music industry, you have to figure out, do you want, you know, what do you, what do you want the narrative to be behind the record? Because it has a certain texture, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, <clears throat> excuse me, unfortunately, <clears throat> excuse me, unfortunately artists, if you're not known for a record or you're, you're not known for something in the marketplace, as far as, as a socialite, what you put out and what creates the most traction is going to be what people perceive you to be. So a lot of what you have to do or what's important for you to enhance is the things that are around the record in terms of your brand and the likeness of what you're trying to represent. 
because that song says something, it has a certain perception, and it feels a certain way. So in mm-hmm. that feeling, one of the, one of one of my biggest takeaways from artists is when they don't look like the song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta think about that when it comes to rebranding and whenever you get the machine behind you, people gonna say, Hey, I'm spending money behind you. This don't look like you. You feel mm-hmm. me? This is what I'm hearing. Even you probably can dress, you got money, you can style yourself, but for what you're presenting and the perspective, I mean the perception that it's gonna create, it has to be a holistic approach in terms of what you're branding and marketing. Because we're in a content-driven industry. So people aren't just going to be attracted to the record. If a, if a record gets past who you are, then it's going to just be like, oh, you know that song, da 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 mm-hmm. And you never get no show money. You're never going to get no other endorsement opportunities. You're going to fall off. You know? So your purpose of what you're trying to get accomplished determines on how you operate. And a lot of how you market the record has to do with how you're marketing your brand simultaneously and where you're marketing your music to. Come mm-hmm. on. You can't, you know, you can't, uh, you can't sell. Like if we drink and do say, you can't bring, you can't bring me whiskey. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can't bring me a gin or nothing. It work. It so, work. Mm-hmm. Work. <laughs> you gotta sell that. Sell off everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So with the record, like you gotta think about rebranding. Probably, you, you said it, this is a new record for you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a, a new feel. Like I ain't never did nothing like with that with that vibe to it. Do the, do the same thing when it comes like clothes. You know what I mean? Change the change your look. If you're not wearing like pastel colors or something different, and all the bow ties, lasers or whatever, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, match that record definitely because it has a, a rail on it. And because mm-hmm. you're you you're more of a mature artist, it's not it's not a it's not a it's not a young person game for sure, uh, but in my opinion, the way it works is, you know, you got to cater towards a demo that's looking for you. If there's mm-hmm. a demo that, that exists that rocks with what you, what you do, you got to understand that appeal to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I like yeah, I appreciate that. I think it's cool. Um, and when I say I think it's cool, my job and what I do as far as, like, pushing records and promoting uh, is, is, mm-hmm. is important for the fact of, like, the records got to live in a certain place. You know what I mean? Like records for me, they got to compete in the marketplace. So, you know, top 40 is where we are going to go. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? In terms of charting. And then we want to be able to dominate whatever social demo you exist from. So if you the young trap one, you feel me, we're going to, we're going to put you in that space. If you mm-hmm. the, the so, or if you the like conscious rapper, a rap seat, whoever we want, we, you, you going to be in that space. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. you got to make sure that you're, Pushing yourself in the right, right area. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Cause when I, I be trying to like, I be trying to like cover all lanes. I got, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I be trying to be as versatile as I can be. But I, yeah, I definitely get what you be. I get, what, I get what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. More important, you or the music? Uh, I, I, shit, like Brussels, like it, it, it start with me. Cause if I ain't in a good head space and if I ain't right mentally, like the music ain't gonna come out right. You know what I'm saying? So, but even, that's just how I feel. Now that you have the record, what's more important, the record that you're pushing or you right now? Um, I say me, cause once the record died, I can if I, if, you know, what I mean, I can still put out more music. You know what I mean? So, all right, I say me as an artist. So I'll give you an analogy. Once you establish a fan base for your likings for yourself, then people are gonna be more receptive to what you promote and what you up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And artists, that, and artists that have a fan base for people who already are popular and like. Like when you hear about little baby, he was already popular in the land, already getting money. Everybody already knew about it. They could mm-hmm. wait till he became a rapper because he was already popular in the street. So make yourself yeah. even popular, rebrand yourself and, and develop a new likeness for who you are. So when you roll out musical, when you put it out, it's not gonna go on, you know, deaf ears. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have an audience for mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, appreciate that. But I like the music. I would love to hear more music as well. So I can backstory and then uh <clears throat> Be patient with the record. Mm-hmm. Give yourself four to six months and map out, map out literally a 90 day, like at least 90 days, four to six months, like mm-hmm. promo, you know, things that you want to get accomplished, you know, and goals within them, within them six months, because that record, you gotta, you gotta sit with it for a little while. Mm. Okay. 
And I'll make sure, MCS, that um, Route Runner gets some of the other songs that you sent over to me. We have one mm -hmm. more artist to get to, um, okay. but I'm going to make sure it's my business that he gets the other songs as well as this one. So he can really, as he's riding and running his route, listen to some new music and stuff. Yeah, that's a better, that's a better uh, showcase of like what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, uh, you know what I mean? I can't we wait. We're gonna have this platform for you, man. Don't worry. Anytime you're welcome, man. On oh platform. yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate anything it. Anything we do. If you follow me, I'll make sure I follow you back when we get off the call. All right. Well, um, what's your what's your what's your Instagram? Route Runner, R O U T E R U N N A eight oh four. Ah, right, word, word. So no more. I got you. All right, salute, man. All right. All right. Keep working, man. All right, you know it. All right, Messi. All right, so bringing to the stage next is Wonder. And while Wonder's coming, Bim, you want to go ahead and give us the sip of the weekend? And then we're going to bring, hey, Wonder, there he is. Okay. Oh, my What's up, Wonder? How you doing? Sorry, I can't hear y'all. Hold on. Okay. It's okay. Can you hear us now? Bim is going to go ahead and give us the sip of the weekend as you're getting your sound together. So no worries at all. It's all can you hear me now? Yes. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. I'm losing y'all's audio. It's all good. I was, I was listening to the entire thing and I can't hear anything you guys are saying. Can you, can you really? The whole time? I guess you still can't hear us. Hey, can you hear me? I think Ease was, well, I can't say anything because he can't, but it, Ease said Sorry, to I still can't hear you guys. Hey, Bim, say something. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Tap on the picture on the tap on the picture and it should say um I can't hear this. Again, see if this works. Can you hear? For some reason I can't hear you guys. Can, can you hear, hear us now? now? Can you hear us now? Can you hear us, darling? Hello? Check. Can you hear us? Can you hear me now? So Bim, you go ahead and do the sip of the weekend, and I'm gonna text. Shay, who is his publicist, so we can kind of get him straight. Okay. All right, we're going with the Duce sip of the weekend. Is the lemonade. It's simple. It's the Duce, part Duce, and part lemonade. You get fresh lemonade, minute made, simple lemonade. It's that simple. But that drink was popular on the, on the run tour, the Beyonce joint. They made that drink up. So that's your sip of the weekend. The lemonade, simple. Hey, okay. I'm gonna make okay. me one right now too. I can't wait to sit down and drink, man. We gonna do I it. I know. I'm about to get Definitely. you out of here, Ed. I know you've been in the car. Your butt probably hurting by now. And everything. Let me hurry up. Right. <laughs> okay. So, wonder. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? If not, I'm gonna go ahead and play the music, and so that way we can at uh, least hear it. What? Okay, Wanda, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? We can hear you. Yeah, oh my god, it was I don't know what it was doing. It was cutting me off. It was <laughs> I couldn't hear you guys, it was muting me. I don't know what was happening. I'm so sorry about that. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, how y'all doing? Doing well. Good. <laughs> nice That's to have good. you. What's up? <laughs> yeah, he said you can hear everyone now, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear y'all you guys. Yeah, All right, so can you hear him, Ed? I can hear him perfect. So okay, good. Everybody's good. So I met Wonder. He came to support my uh, toy drive aunt that I had. Um, it's my nonprofit, Azer Resources, and so I did a toy drive over in McDougal. And um, I don't know if that's my volume. I hear the feedback, or Bim, if that's your yeah, I'm you. feedback. But um, Wonder came out, you know, on his own merit, and he actually donated toys. And then he came and saw that there weren't enough toys, and then he. And his friend went to the store and bought more toys. Wow. <laughs> and um, I mean, I fell in love with him. Like, I just want to support Wonder. So I called Shay, his publicist. I met Shay when she was at 92.1 and I was at 97. Well, I was at Radio 1 here in Raleigh. And, um, you know, Wonder, I want to support you. So I definitely did not want to miss this opportunity to introduce you to more people in my world. So you have Ben, my co-host, who's my Duce ambassador with me. And then Route Runner, you can hear him talk all night definitely somebody that i wanted you to connect with 
So I'm going to go ahead and play your music. And after I play it, tell them really quickly about yourself. And then Ant's going to give you some feedback. And we're going to get you guys out of here, OK? All right. Sounds good to me. And make sure to tell us where we can follow you, OK? Yeah, after? Or you want me to tell you that now? After. Yeah, OK, after. <laughs> <laughs> You have an ad on your video. <laughs> <laughs> what song are we going into? What what song are we going into right now? It's called Dreaming. <laughs> Got a bad bitch at the crib, fuck the head up. I've been thinking hard about my CD on the set up. Staying in my bed, wondering I'll be the next up. Things are getting pretty, but she looking like it's catch up. Getting like so best up. Watch him put a tally on me. Swear to God, I'll make you never wanna leave. Get a city for the music that I breathe. Pray this doesn't put you on your knees. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do the most. Yeah, baby, I've been feeling close. Yeah, I'm trying to throw the whole boat. Yeah, yeah. Baby, this is how it goes. I ain't seen the sun since. Now, wonder, you just released this song, was it today? Yeah, I just released that today. Wow, you gave it to us first. That's the stuff, baby. <laughs> you got the exclusive. <laughs> That's what's uh, up, so man. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, dope, man. So uh one, uh who produced the record? I did. Okay, dope. Wow. Um Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. Uh who you signed to? Myself. Okay. And where you from? I'm from North Carolina. Okay. So you dope as shit, man. What's your nationality? I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm American. I'm from, I was born in the United States, but I got some Italian in me, some European in me. Okay, dope, man. You you have a great uh, fit for music. Um, I think sonically wise, I mean, it's, it's a dope ass record. I mean, obviously, cool pockets in terms of the dreamer aspect in the combination of the beat, and then you have a dope flow. So the it's a collective thing that I would say, like, yo, you got you pretty much got a hit record on your hand. You know what I mean? Um, hey, man, I really that's, huge. That. that's huge. You coming from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it, honestly. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's uh, you, you super dope. Uh, I think I'm just being real. I think I don't really know what you have going on. Professionally wise and person day to day, um, but whenever you have a good s sense of the music as you do, you definitely got to figure out a, a sense of purpose of what you're trying to get accomplished in this industry, because you can get too high, or you can feel like you're not high enough, or you can get too low and kind of like get trapped up in a world and your own creativity. And sometimes, you know, your sound can end up getting past the consumer. You know, so like where you're at, that record. And, you know, songs like that have to last like a year and a half, two years. So dealing with a major or dealing with somebody who has a vested interest in working with you, you got to be prepared ahead of time to have some collaborative, uh, you know, uh, engagement behind your craft. Because even though you're really talented, the marketing side is what's going to really take it to the next level. So you're somebody who I say it doesn't matter on how, you know, you get into the next level. If, if, if it was about the music. You probably would already be signed when you're gonna phone me, right? Mm -hmm. I think you're exceptional. So right. it's it's something else that I'm I'm that I know that's probably missing that you know it's probably another conversation, you know. So I want to help you scope hold what that is. But as far as feedback with the music, you know, you got dope music. Um I, I wanna work with you, you know what I'm saying? So Appreciate if that. you don't have anybody helping you market the music or brand or even help a conversation, Cynthia, Ben and myself, we all can kind of collectively figure out a game plan and kind of being involved in what you're doing. So, um, But I think you're dope. I don't know what you're trying to do or how you're trying to do it, you know what I mean? But you got you got a dope, bright future. I really appreciate that, man. I, that means a lot. And that's definitely really good feedback. You know, marketing is a really key part of a lot of this. You know, a lot of people, I think, 
assume you just put a record out and it's gonna pop. They see like Post Malone, they see Juice World, they see them kind of go up in one day and they don't realize the effort that was behind them for like three or four years before those records even pop. So, man, I really appreciate that. And I would love to link with you guys and link with you, especially uh, Rob, and just kind of talk to you, see what you're doing, see, hear more about uh, hear, about, hear more about your uh, affiliation with Rockefeller and you know stuff you've been doing in the past. And, I already know you, Cynthia. You're just awesome. So I, I'm always down to connect with you. And uh, Bim, I, I, we have we've probably met before, but I mean, I'd like to get, get to know you a little bit more as well and learn more about Duce. And I, I'm always I'm always down to learn, man. That's what I'm here for. So I really appreciate the feedback. Definitely, man. Definitely. Hey, I want to hey, say, you yo, you don't look nothing like that song. I want to say that. I promise you, yo. I'm like, hey, what? this kid did that. Hey, but you're a triple threat, man. You, rap. you know the beat. You do your own production. You you rap and you marketable. You know you got this look that they come. You know, I appreciate that. All I'm over the world. Bro. Yo, I'm, keep I'm going, 26. bro. Twenty six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long you been in music? I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. No, how long you been in music? Oh, how long have I been in music? I thought I said you like my music. Um, <laughs> We said that too, though. We said that too. <laughs> um, I've been, I've been, I've been doing music since I was little. I so I started music. I started playing guitar when I was in elementary school. I was in rock bands when I was super young. But I was always listening to hip hop. It always kind of been on my radar, and I didn't really get into it until senior year of high school. And then that was always kind of for fun. I was just writing raps for fun. I was making beats, doing doing whatever I could just to be involved in music and kind of just branching out and for taking it seriously for the past three years now, four years, maybe, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's three years. I've been taking it seriously as a solo artist and um, really putting my, putting all my effort into this and making it my career choice. And wonder real quick, just to kind of let you know, you guys, he has an awesome team um, that's been helping him. That's, you know, like I mentioned, Shay, um, his brother Sean with Cypher Project. Like, they are really a phenomenal team. Like, Ralph, you would love working. Not like if you love Wonder, then you would totally enjoy working with his team as well. Appreciate that. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to it. What, what I do is not be overly in, informal, but uh, I, I look forward to work with you, uh, Cynthia Bim. Let's, let's further this conversation. Uh, I'm doing a, uh, a digital activation myself in another week or so. We're, we're kind of featuring some artists that are in my repertoire um, and artists that I feel like, you know, could get signed and people I'm rocking with. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely invite you on that. Um, sure. So, you know, you heard it first. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's connect, right. man. Let's um, do it. On, online, I'll follow you right back. And, uh, let's do it. Cynthia, you can pass off my number and vice versa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any well, questions? Em, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, Ant. No, uh, wonder any questions? Yeah. I have a lot of questions, but I'm going to ask you those when we get a little bit more time together. <laughs> uh, a little bit more deep questions. <laughs> oh, good, man. Um, All right. But yeah, I appreciate you, man. Great, great meeting you, bro. Look forward to working. Thank you. I appreciate that. And great meeting you as well, man. Nice. All right. Wendy, thanks for coming, man. All right, thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today, Route Runner. Thank you so much. Um, this is what people Love. see, but what they don't see is when you're coaching me and encouraging me and motivating me to be, you know, like Duchess was saying, just me, you know, um, and to be comfortable in my own skin. So I just want to personally say I appreciate you. Thank you for extending yourself to them, you know, who's my better half when it comes to this. And so, you know, we appreciate your time, um, you know, just so much today. So thank you everyone for joining us today as well. Bim, any last and closing remarks you have for the church? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Ralph Runner, my brother. Thanks for coming. Oh, like she said, thanks for your time, bro. And we look forward to working with you. Anything I could do to help anything, you know, just call me. I shoot my number, get it from Cynthia, whatever. We're going to work, baby. No, I absolutely. Well, one man for the record, man. I appreciate both of y'all. You know, I love what y'all are doing. Um, Cynthia, I appreciate you taking the initiative and supporting my efforts, highlighting me. You know, humbly, I, I think that's great. Um, and Ben, man, I appreciate you being a great partner of her. Heard some amazing things as far as y'all building your relationship 
and really, you know, creating a foundation that I'm, I'm proud of that I'm supporting. So everything that I'm working on, y'all got my blessing. So we are a conglomerate, you know, turn this thing up um, and let's keep building. All right. Will do. Will do. Y'all get y'all to stay lemonade, all right? I'm going to try. Cheers. Yo, be safe. Have a good weekend. Y'all take care. I got to go, too. <laughs> Right. Y'all take care. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.